When the construction crew on this Seattle, Washington apartment building clocks out for the day, two autonomous robots, backed by artificial intelligence, or AI, get to work. So the robot drives into each room on the floor. It has the floor plans already loaded in it, so it knows where the walls are going to be. And what it does is it moves into each space and takes a 360-degree high-resolution photo. And it goes through and it does the entire floor for that, and then it uploads those photos into this cloud-based uh, platform where it runs through a number of AI-driven analysis that then report out to the project team. When the robots were introduced to the staff three months ago as part of a pilot project collaboration between the Skanska Construction Company and Boston-based Nextera Robotics, some were skeptical. I initially was not sure if they were going to be able to navigate the project by themselves. Um, I have not seen a robot that's able to autonomously kind of maneuver around a construction site that's ever-changing. There's always things in the way, there's always people moving in and out, um, but these do a really good job at that. Images captured by these robots go through an AI model trained to recognize thousands of construction-related objects, so engineers on site and designers on the opposite coast can monitor the building progress and identify potential hazards. It's analyzing them and saying, okay, what do I see here? Are the walls painted? Are they, is it drywall? Um, do the ceiling have framing? Is it painted concrete? Is the air duct installed? Is the air duct insulated? It's looking for all of these things and then processing them into our uh, online platform and then displaying them in a really digestible way. Workers' faces are blurred on the robot-captured images to protect their privacy. Project leaders insist that the robots are there to help people with tedious or dangerous tasks, not take their jobs. The robot saves uh, a lot of uh, person time just because the amount of time it would take a human to come through and take the level of photos with the consistency is more than 40 hours a week. Being able to track the progress amongst all the trades on a, you know, 31 story, 324 unit residential tower, such as the one in Seattle, that's just something that would be extremely time consuming and very, very difficult for a human to do. Despite the technology's benefits, construction companies have been slow in adapting the AI tools. But Germain thinks this will change. The construction industry is ripe for uh, much more inclusion of robotics in the future. I think that robots will always be working hand-in-hand -hand with the humans on the job sites uh, as, a, as a tool and a benefit. I don't think that they're going to be uh, you know, taking over the construction process on their own. Germain says that the wider adoption of AI for process optimization, real-time insights and risk assessment in construction is just a matter of time. Natasha Mosgovaya, VOA News, Seattle.